What's up, everybody? It's the Daily Gamer, Pony Barcelona, and we are back with part nine of our GTA Definitive Edition Vice City Platinum playthrough. When part eight ended, we were collecting hidden packages. We're also going to buy some properties and uh, just get some stuff set up so we can carry on with the story and get farther in this game. But right now, you know, we got 100% of the things to do, and these are some of them. So without further ado, enjoy. And there we got the 357 delivered to the safe house. Done with the show. Remember, call now. Please, we need your money. Urgently. Thanks, guys. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Pressing Issues on BCPR. That's Vice City Public Radio. Radio which gives the public exactly what they want. High-quality educational programming about... Oi, muchacho. Which way is west? Remember, Vice City Public Radio is commercial free because it is funded entirely by donations from our listeners and corporate sponsors. So if you're enjoying the show, why not make a contribution? I'm Maurice Chavez, and this is Pressing Issues. Pressing Issues is a roundtable discussion group in which we ask self-important people exactly what they think about things, and then they argue amongst themselves for a bit, before leaving with views more extreme than when they came in. Only joking, ladies and gentlemen. This is a show for... And the American principle of being annoyed and loud so nobody can get a word in. I forget. Only time will tell. Now the subject we are discussing right now and pressing issues with me... My oh, now we're gonna buy a property right here. It's not a very safe place. These are troubled times. We are a troubled people. Some would say we are a people at war with ourselves. Others would say we are at war with reality. Those who live in other countries who try to own our fast food restaurants and quickie marts would say we are a bloodthirsty bunch of crazies who let children buy guns from the supermarkets. Another opinion is that it is the fault of society that, as Plato said, people don't mean to kill each other. It happens because they are poor or desperate or really thirsty or in need of a vacation or something. Another view is that we are all a little confused and really should stay at home. Lock the Respected man in the capital. Mr. Shrug got elected. <coughs> so all of us at ease by finally confirming it's okay to be rich as long as you say you care about the children. Mr. Shrub, welcome. That's not entirely true, Maurice. My campaign also appealed to the poor, who are too stupid to. Need money is bad.
I did your wife, you poor bastard. <laughs> Right now. <sighs> 